Hi there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so you can look through the playlist and pick and choose the topics that interest you the most. Or you can just start at 1 and go through 25. They're all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find this as interesting. I'm aiming my tips at brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back and relax and hopefully you'll learn something new. Now today we're going to talk about importing and exporting characters. So let's first talk about importing a character. Now I am going to uh, say that I have five people at my table, but the fifth person has not given me their character sheet yet. So I am going to go to character selection, or actually they gave me their character sheet, but I haven't put it in the game yet. So I, I have it on my hard drive and I'm going to move it into the game. And to do that, I'm going to have to import it. So you open the character selection, you click the import button, click it again, and it will open up your file explorer on your computer. And then I'm going to uh, bring in Riley, and here's Riley. You can see it's it imported Riley's XML. Now I close the character importer, I open the character sheet, scroll down, this is alphabetical, so I scroll down to where Riley should be, and there he is. So we have our, our character imported. Wait, what is he? Oh, he's a tiefling. Haha. <laughs> Let's grab a correct uh, picture. I think, I think tieflings are an other. The glass. Maybe tieflings have their own folder. So let's go here. Tiefling. Oh, wait. Half orc, halfling, human, other, Ravnica, and tiefling. Tieflings do have their own characters' portraits. Okay, so um, we'll just put this rogue. Okay, so now let's put him on the combat tracker. So that is how you import a character. Now let's say we, w we want to export a character. Let's say that Carter says, hey, I would like to get a copy of my character. So how do you do that? Well, it's very easy. You open the sl character selection. I'm gonna say that he saved his character like this. Click uh, backslash save. And then I'm going to click edit list. I'm going to search down here for Carter's character. Whoops. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Now we found Carter's character on our character selection. We're going to click the down arrow to export. It opens up the um, window in, on my uh, computer. And I can now export his export his sheet. Yeah, I'm sorry, you click it. Yeah, you click it once and then why didn't it that didn't work? Click it. Do I guess you have to name it. I'm sorry. Okay, so do I have him already on here? No, I don't. Okay. So I'm gonna Name him Carter XML um, on my um, Windows Explorer. And now it said that we saved the character Carter. So that is how you ex that that is how you export a character. And then I would PM it to him and he would have a copy of his character. So I hope that you found this tip interesting and I hope that you will watch the rest of my tips. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.